Hi everyone, I'm Ryan Rungi with AECT. We make the best compressed earth plug machines in the world. We design them, we manufacture them, we support them forever. We have a 18 year old 3500 model here. The 3500 can make a 10 inch by 14, eight inch by 14 and seven inch by 14 block. And here's some examples of, there's your 10 by 14 inch, eight inch by 14, seven inch by 14. This is one of the blocks I made this last week. I made a, a whole bunch of these blocks for some landscaping projects we're doing and some uh, internal walls for our basement using this dirt over here. The, the block, of course, takes on the color of the dirt. So this block here came from San Antonio and it's been sitting out in the weather and the freeze and the rain for two years, believe it or not, that block. Um, but what I'm doing today, the purpose of this video is to switch out this eight inch plate for the seven inch plate you see here with the associated spacer plates um, so that I can make a lot more of these seven by 14s for a little um, driveway project we're doing over here. Um, this will be hopefully in a few months will be a paver driveway and I'm gonna do a herringbone pattern. So in order to do that, I need the length to be twice the width. So the seven by 14s will work perfect for that. So it'll look something like this. So what I'm going to do today is switch out for the seven by 14 plate and then uh, proceed to probably make about three or 4,000 more of these of this size block using the dirt you see here. So um, let me just uh, get to it here. Okay, to switch out the eight by 14 inch plate with a seven by 14 inch plate on this 3500, the first thing I'm gonna do is start the machine and bring down the plate so I can access the bolts on the bottom. Okay, now that I've got the plate down, I can take the bolts out. Keep those handy because you'll need them to put the 8 inch plate on. Now that the bolts are out, I can raise the plate back up and then push it out from underneath. You can use a screwdriver to push up in the bolt hole and push the plate up and out. And a pry bar works well to wedge under the plate once it's up. Watch your fingers, but now that it's lifted up, I can uh, just pull it out of there. That's our eight inch by 14 inch plate that we've been using all week. And now we're gonna replace it with a seven inch. But before that, we have to remove the one inch spacer plates and put in the one and a half inch spacer plates. So to do that, we will once again use our socket wrench take these two bolts out in the front and then there's two more in the back. Now 
Now this part's a little tricky. I'm gonna run the subplate down again and I am going to put these um, little brackets on the subplate and underneath the side plate so that it doesn't drop down when I take the bolts out. Then I will use the hydraulic cylinder to press the cylinder up and it'll um, correspondingly bring the, the side plate up and out. And if you had to do it just by hand, it might be a little bit tough, but use the hydraulic pressure, hydraulic cylinder, and you can get it out really easily. So for safety, I'm gonna put those on already. Now that those brackets are under there, I can undo the bolts and push that plate out. Keep these bolts with your eight inch plate set. Uh, these are These are one and three quarter inch bolts. You're gonna use these one, uh, two and a quarter inch bolts for the seven inch plate set, which has an inch and a half uh, side plate. So for the time being, just keep these bolts with the plate. Now that the bolts are out, I'm gonna push the side plate up with the cylinder. So now that that plate's been pushed up, it's easy to remove. So that's a one inch plate spacer, which goes with the eight inch plate. Now we'll follow the same procedure before the back spacer plate. It's a little tight, so I'm gonna use the impact drill and see if that can loosen it up pretty quickly. Okay, those bolts are out brackets in place so I'm gonna raise this plate up out of there Here's our other one inch spacer plate now we're gonna put our inch and a half spacer plates in in the reverse order and that'll make room for the seven inch plate. Make sure you don't put it in upside down. The hole should be closer to the bottom. But in kind of a reverse order, I'm gonna set this up on the brackets and then lower it down. Now that 
it's set up in place, I'm gonna lower it down to the holes line up. Just as a guide, you could, you just wanna make the top of the plate flush with the top of the rail here. Again, we'll be using the two and a quarter inch bolts this time. Just had to get that bolt a little bit more lined up. Okay, that inch and a half plate's in there nice and snug now. So now I can set up the second plate, the front plate. Again with the bolts down, the bolt holes down. Just watch your fingers, nice and easy. Set up my brackets to hold it. That looks like my holes are pretty well lined up. Again, using my two and a quarter inch bolts. Now that plate's nice and snug. I'll have to bring the plate slightly down to get the uh, brackets out of there. And then I will bring the sub plate all the way up so I can put the seven inch plate on, press plate. Those Brackets are just wedged in there a little bit too good, so I'm just gonna hit them, knock them out with the hammer. There we go. those out of there. Now let's bring the cylinder all the way up. And now this is a pretty easy part, although just watch your fingers as always. You can use a, some compressed air or your good old-fashioned lungs to uh, just wipe off the top of the plate so you can get a nice tight fit with the, with the uh, press plate. Here comes the seven by 14. Now, it should be symmetrical, but just double check. I got three and a half inches from this side, center of the hole. I got three and a half inches from this side. Three and a half, three and a half. On some machines, it might be slightly off, so you'll just want to match up the, the off-center on the plate with the off-center on the sub-plate. It's not much. It might be a quarter of an inch at max. 
This one looks pretty much symmetrical. You'll more or less know once you set it in there anyway. So, as I said, this is just a matter of sliding it in there. And just the plate's heavy, so just watch your hands. Maybe use a tool like this. Now we take the the bolts we had from before. plate down so we have easier access. Snug. So the job's pretty much done. You can run it a couple cycles, see if everything's lining up okay. If not, you might try uh, flipping the plate around if it seems like it's a dragon. But let's just try it. looks like it's lined up nice so we got the 7 inch by 14 inch plate in there we're ready to make some 7 inch blocks I'll just show you a close-up